How you guys doing? You don't mind if I stand over here and observe, do you? Stand and observe as long as you're in a safe distance, not is, at all. Is this safe? Right there. Thank you. <laughs> Right now, I'm coming from Hawthorne. So, like about seven miles. Really? I, well, that's that's small, really, isn't it? That's not a lot, right? You know well, I guess running. I think I thought of it more like running. I, I guess you're right. I, I probably couldn't run seven miles, but I could easily ride. You know. On a Friday night, though. Especially on a Friday night. I, I just don't. You, don't you have any close encounters with cars and stuff like that? Um, I mean. I know, uh, July of um, 2011, I got rear-ended, but um, but the lady did it on purpose. It wasn't, the, you know, she just she just kind of nudged me and. Um, Are you kidding me? No. Dude. Um, did it knock you down? Yeah, I landed on my feet, just bit my back wheel. That's it. Huh. So you do you you this is like you do this recreational. You'll ride like seven. No, I, I ride like probably. Maybe 50 or 60 miles for recreation. Tonight I was hope I was looking to see if I find like in Gardena or Torrance if I find a cyclist. So I'm gonna try to catch up to him before he, before I drop and I don't get to talk to him. So. Oh. I don't um, think he's much of a cyclist. Does he not? Does he speak English? Yeah, but he's not much of a cyclist. He, I, I know, but he, he I don't know if he, he may not have even known. Was he on the sidewalk or, or was he in the street? On the sidewalk. He probably doesn't even know. I mean, he, you guys don't tell. Nobody knows that there's any rules until they, until they, you know. Why not? Because they don't teach it. They don't teach it. They need to do that. I think, I think they should, they should have licensing for bike, because they do, you know, bike I mean, licensing for theft, but they should have licensing where they teach the, the riders I, how to ride. Uh, how else are they supposed the, to know? They have I mean, to obey all the laws of the road, just like a car. It should be part of driver training. I think so. That I way, agree. the people in the cars know where, you know, where bicycles are supposed you to be. You know, we need, we need citizens to what gather together and lobby for it. taught that in school. Yeah, well, I, 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 I doubt it. I bet you weren't. I bet, you know I mean, you might have been taught a, part, a portion of it, maybe. Well, they taught. I do. I do remember them saying in school was that they were, that bikes are required to obey all rules of the road. Right. Stopping at stop signs, placing both feet down at a stop sign, looking both ways, turning like you're supposed to, hand signals like a car. Yeah. You know, visible white light from the front, 300 feet. No, mirror but reflectors, you know, all that people stuff. don't apply that to riding in the actual street with the traffic. Though. Yeah, I mean, and then it's kind of it is kind of hinky because like where can you ride on the street and where can you ride on the sidewalks? But the thing is. You know, like they always say, ignorance of law is not a, is not a, a plausible defense. You I, know? I, I, I mean, the, the, the I books agree. are out there for everyone to study and learn. You know, I, I because know, we I know them better it doesn't make any difference. You know, I, I, do you sure you know them better? Well, I was you, gonna, know, you know, I was going to ask you. We guys, know more than the average person. I want to ask you guys a question because um, about the about the law pertaining to sidewalk because it's kind of confusing now. They say that um, in a business district, right? But the, but the definition of a business. Uh, district is complicated. It is. It's very complicated. And do you guys? Do and you guys it's constantly changing too, as well. It goes by the certain number of uh, like, feet per. You have to have a like that rolling tape measure, you yeah. know, thing. You have to like stop at every new building and, and get a calculator. Yeah, I don't know it's that I've ever stopped somebody for that. To be honest with you. Um. Yeah. For, for a sidewalk, for riding on the sidewalk. No, I don't think I've ever stopped anybody for that. 
I mean, the, the only time an officer stop people for that and write my ticket for it, it's usually it's like if, if they get mad at the person for whatever reason. You know, it's like it's never it's never for a safety that, reason. That's like they don't write a ticket for that. And I'm seeing the instances I've been aware of. Right, right, right. Like they get if somebody maybe tries to say they don't want to be searched or something, then they might get a ticket for having been on the sidewalk or something. I'm not saying you guys in particular will do that, but but I've seen some guys do that. But so. see, you gotta understand too, the majority of our our uh, vehicle burgs, burglaries, oh, okay, are people, people riding bikes. around on bikes and they're constantly riding by, and what they do is they grab door handles, check the door handles. We've actually had a recent rash of door handle burglaries, um, which is technically a theft. So, yeah. I, I can I, I understand that like probably either a lot of bicyclists could be thieves, but that that still doesn't mean you, that you can just automatically pull over every bicycle and pretend we they're can't, a thief. We though. can't automatically I mean, pull over anyone. We can only pull over a uh, bicycle so, for a law uh, violation law. Yeah. A lot of um, that's a detention. That's all we can do. A lot of cops and a lot of the, uh, departments think that they don't need. I mean, your department even your watch, watch commander told me that um, cyclists are drug addicts, so they don't need a reason. He says we don't we can pull, we don't need a reason to pull over bicycles. I can't. I, I personally, my just from the interactions I've had with the, the people I work with, I don't know of any watch commander who would say something like that. I guarantee you. I I, I, um, I don't remember his name. Um, I mean, it doesn't matter. It's not. A, yeah, I don't need I mean, to convince you of that or anything. Right. But uh, he only said that after like the third time I was down there, he was impatient talking with me, and he and also he didn't have an explanation for the things that happened. So. Um, oh, no, I mean, it's uh, a simple um, fact. We have to have a violation of law to, to affect the detention or a reasonable suspicion that law is a, or a violation of law is a foot. Okay, so. I'm, I'm not going to waste any more of your guys' time. Have a good evening, okay? Sure, you too. Okay, thank you. Right safe. Yeah.